Hi, this video is to show you how to install OmniRig for use with Logic. Uh, OmniRig is a little program, it's like a driver for radio interfacing that sets between Logic or most any other uh, ham radio program that's on the market today, TRX Manager, I think. Um, this, um, you know, most of the contesting software supports it. And uh, its reason for existence is that it allows multiple programs to access the same rig simultaneously. It also has other features in that you can easily set up almost, you know, there are support for a lot of different rigs here and they can be set up without any programming. It's just a matter of uh, setting up a text file that describes the commands that are sent out and what's expected back and so forth. So some of the rigs that uh, you know Logic uh, doesn't support, it could be used for this. And also, if you're having trouble with some incompatible USB drivers or something, uh, this may work when Logic or your other uh, software may not. Um, there are three pieces of software I need here. I'm going to go ahead and download these now. Uh, I'm here at the Omni Rig. Uh, home page. I'm going to get the client. That's just like a little uh, test program uh, that, that uses the OmniRig server. It's like a little logging program, if you will, that you know talks to the rig. Of course, you can't actually log with it, but it does talk with the rig. Uh, let me go to... Um, okay, so let me go ahead and download that. Um, Okay, and then let me go to the downloads page. Here are two other files I need to get. I need to get OmniRig. And I need to get the INI files that come with OmniRig. That's the uh, text files the little that you know define what the rig works. So let me go here and show all downloads and just do that. Um, Okay, let me go ahead and um, first I'll install OmniRig. It's a zip file. I can just open that and I can run the setup file right out of the zip folder that he provides. You don't need to um, um, do anything special to, to install that. By the way, this is uh, by Alex uh, VE. Uh, 3NEA that makes uh, DX Atlas and so forth. It's free. It's a great service to the AM community. I want to give him a uh, thumbs up on this. I also want to put in the client. I'm just. This isn't really an install program, so I just drag it onto the desktop. I already got it there. Okay, I'm going to say, okay, I'll just overwrite my old one with it. Uh, and uh, here's all the rig files. Just take a look at one of these. And you know you can see how it's you know some documentation up there, but you know, there's the um, commands that you send back and forth. <laughs> the definition of that. And there's instructions on how to uh, how to set those up if you want to. <coughs> if you want to do it yourself if you have Excuse me, if perchance you have some rig that no one's done yet. Okay. I'm going to find out where uh, DX at, where uh, Omni rigs installed. Let me just kind of slide my little view thing or thingy down here. Okay, I'm going to go um, open file location. And what Windows does, that uh, what Windows 10 does, is actually open the location of a shortcut. So I've got to open file location again, and there I am. There's a rigs folder. That's you know already a bunch of rigs there by default. But uh, you know, as often as not, you have to come over to this rig ini dot zip and get all of those. I'm hitting Control A to copy. Yeah, 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 copy. And then I'll just paste it in here, replace the destination files. Okay. 
little windows make your life difficult thing. Okay, so we should have everything installed. Let's see what happens. Um, I'm going to run my client program here. I copied it onto the desktop. Let's see if I can find that. Uh, close all these close tabs. Um, okay, I'm gonna run, there's the client that's on the desktop. I'm going to run that. And I'm going to say open dialog. That's the thing that lets me, you know, this is how I configure um, the uh, Omni rig to, you know, for the type rig you have. And you can, it supports up to two rigs simultaneously. Um, okay, so I'm just going to set up rig one. It's going to be an ICOM. A brain brand spanking new ICOM 735. Uh, forget which port that's on. Um, device manager. Okay, it's on COM 6. You know, if you're hooking your rig directly up to Logic, it'll list only the COM ports that uh, actually exist. But um, anyway, okay, we're 1,200. Um, gonna try two stop bits. I'm going to say okay, okay, and I got a parameter back from the rig. It gives me a frequency here, and I can you know, set the rig and so forth. Okay, it's talking to, you know, it's talking to Logic now. I can leave, leave the client open. I could go open TRX Manager and talk to the rig. Uh, um, you know, any software I want to, but I'm going to run Logic. Okay. fit everything down here so it fits in this 720. Um, close some of these excess windows here. So we'll go to where you normally go to to set up. Um, let me get the menus to open here where we can see them. Okay, I'm going to select Omni Rig 1. That corresponded with the first rig tab that I had. I'm uh, going to enable it. That's all to set up. You don't have to worry about a COM port or anything. If you told Logic to use COM 6, you'd get an error saying it's already open. You can only have one program opening a port at a time. So that's kind of how um, uh, Omni Rig works. It talks to the uh, port and then your logic or what software have you will then talk to um, Tomney rig via Microsoft OLE object linking and embedding. I'm going to say okay, knock on wood. Okay, it comes up wanting me to uh, set the rig up. I just kind of confirm. And something didn't go right. Okay, so it turns out that more security issues with Windows 10. You have to run the Omni rig with um, administrative privileges. Logic will come up here eventually and tell me that, uh, you know, it's not loaded, it can't find it. Uh, please try to uh, make sure it's installed. I'll just have to wait for it to time out here. Okay, there we go. Uh, let me set this up to run as administrator. I'll just close the little taskbar here. I'll run OmniRig again. Okay, and um, here I typed it in the Windows 10 search thingy. I go to 
I could type run as administrator here. I just tested that while I was offline with you folks a minute ago, but I'm just going to try to fix it permanently here. I'm going to open file location, which you know takes me to the shortcut. Go to the properties again. I got to kind of compatibility and run this program as administrator. Okay, I'm going to apply that. I'm going to say okay. Okay, let's just go try to run logic again. And there we go. Works real slick. Um, okay, and I'll just come spin the knob of the rig. Works real slick. Thank you for watching and uh, post on our forum if you have any questions. Thank you very much. Okay, follow up on a couple things. Uh, just something I didn't make clear uh, is that once you get the OmniRig server installed, you don't need to run the client. You don't need to do anything to, uh, you know, initialize it when you start logic you just uh, I just rebooted the computer here as a test and uh, you know double clicked on my logic started logic and you see it comes up uh, talking to the rig and so forth um, another thing that um, want to make clear too I mentioned that TRX manager supports uh, Omni rig also uh, and don't reach the conclusion that you have to, I, I didn't mean to imply that you need to use OmniRig to get Logic and TRX Manager working together. That's not the case. Logic will uh, talk to TRX Manager directly. Uh, so, you know, that's, uh, if you just want to run Logic and TRX Manager together, did you, I, I, I wouldn't use OmniRig for that. Uh, one other little thing here, too, is... I noticed that the client also has to be run as administrator when you have the server set as administrator. So I'm going to go here and say uh, run this program as administrator and now everything works. Otherwise it c complains. Okay, uh, that's all I can think of. Enjoy.